Lee explores the Roswell and alien abduction connection further. Don Ray Walton has first-hand experience. A UFO landed in my mom's yard in 1954, and I was born less than a year later. So you're saying you're actually born of alien? All I know is that her husband had thought she cheated on him, and she never did, you know. My mom was gold. She never do nothing like that. She's a good Christian woman. Were the aliens in Roswell the same as the ones that you saw? The big heads and the eyes? Oh, yeah, yeah, some of them are, yeah. No genitalia? Uh, actually, they do have genitalia, but not, 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 I didn't see it on the males, but I know it on the females because I've actually had intercourse with those females several times. Sorry? So you, you, you had intercourse with the female? Yeah, several times, yes. Several times? Yes, before they let me go. In the one night? No, they kept me about a week. And that whole time you were having sex yeah. with aliens? Yeah, well, not all the time having sex with them, but they were doing other things. A lot, of the, things a lot of the time. And they were showing me videos and stuff, and they were telling me about 2012. And the, you but didn't have sex with any of the males? No. Huh? The males don't no, have sex? No, I didn't. I don't, I, don't know, I don't know. I didn't have anything to do with them, but the thing is, uh, since I had their devices in my head, I used their devices to control their ship with and stuff. They didn't know how I did that because I have more advanced technology in me. So instead of doing the mean things to me, they became my friend. They offered me a technology. I said, I don't want this. Mankind's not ready for it. He'll destroy the world with it.